Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. I took a trip to New York and I went to the store Muji for the first time. Being sort of a stationary addict, I've seen this store promoted all over Instagram and I've seen so many pen pictures that I had to visit the store for myself and it did not disappoint. If you're not familiar with Muji, it's, for me, it was basically like a Japanese minimalist candy store of stationery and they have so much more. So I guess you could say this is sort of a haul, but it's also a somewhat first impressions review of some stationary items and I couldn't buy everything I wanted in that store. I could probably spend a lot of money in that store, but New York is expensive. For your reference, I will put links in the description below and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be the first to get notified for when I post new videos and hit that like button if you want to see more stationary haul type review videos. And let's get into it. Something I've never tried before is a stapler without staples. It came with a lot of instructions, but basically you can staple up to five sheets of printer weight paper without using a metal staple. I tested two sheets first and it did get a little bit stuck on my first try. And as you can see, it punches a hole and then it bends back the paper so that they attach together. It does state that it doesn't have the same holding power as a regular stapler, but if you just need a few pieces of paper attached together, I think this is a cool option. Or if you need a quick way to bind a few loose sheets of paper, I think this could work as well. I tried that on the edge of these two papers. And it leaves these little arrows punched out, which I don't mind. Next, I got myself a metal pen holder, and I have seen this sold in other places, but I saw it at Muji, it was a decent price, and I thought I'd try it out finally. It's kind of like a spring coil, and it stretches with whatever pen you put in it. And I like that it goes over the really thick parts of the pen that usually don't fit into the normal pen holders. And while I was at their store, I got a look at their books, and all of their books are really minimal, but they do have notebooks, sketchbooks, and journals, so I got a few to try out. This first one is called a high quality flat open notebook. On the outside, it does look very basic, but that was the first thing I noticed when I opened it is how flat it could go. You can see the paper is a little bit on the thin side, but it's decent for note taking. And I do like how they had lined and grid, so you can switch between the two. And the cover is more of a thin cardboard, but it does feel like a nice little sturdy notebook. Next, I got this recycled paper sketchbook, and this one is probably my favorite. This store had something I've never seen before, a Muji Yourself stamp it table. So after you buy your product, you can take your purchases to this table and personalize them however you want. Their stamps were really simple graphics, which is fitting within their minimal branding, but I really like that and I think this is such a cool idea to have in their store and this table was so fun. Even the display above the table was fun with all these stamped notebooks hanging in the air. I was in Soho, Manhattan, so I used their Soho stamp and just a mix of random other stamps. The sketchbook itself has a medium thick chipboard cover and you can tie the book together with the ribbon on the end. The pages are somewhat of a cream color and they are thicker than the notebook that I just showed you, which is good for sketching and I'll show you what ink looks like on them soon. Feels like a durable sketchbook, I like the size and the wire binding and I look forward to sketching in this. Next, I got this hardcover square blank book, which I recently found out is limited edition, so it's not available currently, but maybe they'll bring it back. This is more like an album, but it could be used as a journal or sketchbook. It has a glossy blank cover. It's case bound and you could definitely personalize this. And a running theme with Muji books seems to be the pages lay flat, which is always nice. The pages feel a little bit thicker than the previous sketchbook. And I think this would make a nice album or some kind of special journal sketchbook. Now let's test out some pens. I couldn't get all of the pens in the store, so I got a few of the basics that I knew I would use in my regular stationary routine. I got their Spring Clip ballpoint pen at 0.7 millimeter size. I like the Spring Clip feature, which could hang on to a thick notebook. The hand grip is nice and it is retractable. I thought this was a black pen when I bought it, but turns out it's actually blue. And it does write pretty smooth for a basic, inexpensive, everyday pen. 
It's been a while since I've had a retractable pencil, so I thought I'd try theirs out. This also has a nice grip for your fingers, and this is a 0.5 millimeter lead size. I tend to like the thicker pen point sizes, but if you like the really thin ones, they do have a selection of really thin ones. I just didn't get any because I knew I wouldn't use them. I also got a soft calligraphy pen, which I assumed was felt tip, but once I looked at it, it's actually bristles, so it's like a fine point brush. I'm pressing on it this way so you can see the bristles. I was kind of surprised at how nice this pen is, and it has some good texture if you're looking for that in a brush pen. And the paper quality in this sketchbook is pretty decent. You can see some of the spots a little ghost through because it was really heavy there with the ink. But overall, I like the thickness of this paper. And you know I had to get some gel pens, so I got this 0.5mm 12 pack. I usually prefer a 0.8mm size, but these are pretty nice. Testing these out on the same sketchbook, you can see how they write. I wouldn't say that the ink pours out just like a jelly roll pen does, but the ink does come out pretty nice. The colors are pretty vibrant, and here are some test swatches for your reference. Next, I wanted to try out this fun pack of hexagonal twin pens. Each pen has two colors, which I think is convenient if you're traveling with pens. They have a round point, and the colors are pretty vibrant. I did think these would be similar to the quality of the IKEA markers that I recently tested, but these are actually better, and I don't know what it is about the shape of them, but they're fun to draw with. I often use correction tape, so when I saw this, I thought I should try one of their correction pens. I have used correction pens before, but they usually dry up and are messy. This one seems to be a little bit more clean, and you just have to squeeze it to get the ink out. It does come out pretty easily, it's very fluid, and you can write over it once it dries. And then I'm trying out these handy sticky notes. These come in multiple little rectangle stacks of sticky notes that I find really easy to tag a page with. And I think these to-do list sticky notes could be helpful when you just need a little structure to your to-do list. You can stick these wherever you want and it kind of prompts me to get all my stuff listed. I'll definitely be putting these into the rotation of regular stationery that I use. And if you've tried any Muji products in general, I would love to know your experience in the comments. If you're interested in supporting this channel and helping me make more weekly content for everyone to watch, go check out my YouTube memberships and also my Patreon. I'll put those links in the description below and you can find different perks on each one. There are more options on Patreon, but some people find it easier to donate through YouTube memberships. Whichever one works for you, go check them out. And I do appreciate it. I definitely appreciate my patrons and members. Thank you for supporting this channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be the first to get notified for when I post new videos. And if you want to dive even deeper into my pen addiction, I'll put some related videos around here. All of these links will be down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.